Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami on the Mysterious JG. Attempting to play this game while covered in various ointments. Let's see how this is going to work. Last time, we uh, we were pursuing the main plot. I tried to buy some toys for our little friend Haruka, Harumi, whatever the hell her name is. Uh, uh, Funky McWinkerbean or whatever. Um, and uh, Haruka, yeah. We're not allowed to just give her the toys, so, oh well. But we can still continue the main story because I, um, believe I've exhausted all the sub-stories. And if I haven't, that's okay. It's time to move the four. Oh. Various people hanging around. Here you son, please. I know why you're here. So you know everything, huh? Not even close. Just that wherever you go, trouble's not far behind. Hey, let me introduce you to Haruka. Please don't use her against me in the future. Oh, dear you, Chan. Sup? Okay, it's just the same as before. Nothing new. <laughs> Probably no good introducing Haruka to him, because if we tell him leave Haruka out of it, he's going to know that bringing Haruka into it is what's going to inspire Kiryu-chan to fight. Kiryu, it's time to go. Yuna... It's time. So we just jump right into the story. No choice to go here and hang out and do other stuff. Eh, don't get too wasted. Hey there, mister. Go to Sarita and the Groovy Goonies. I'm glad they gave us that little opening to do that quest with Haruka, because that, in, in my mind, that's part of why we had her, and why they made that thing available when it did. They didn't make it a later act. Pray here is a proof that you've lived a good life, not just that you've lived a long life, I guess. Yeah, you were ugly ten years ago, man. I'm telling you. Anyway, now I can't talk to either one of them. So, okay. Oh, the main story is... Oh, never mind. We do have to leave here first. I thought maybe the main story continued before we even got to the exit, but that was just them marking the exit. I, mean, I suppose I could go do, like, arena fights, because I am have access. But, in fact, we really want to go, uh... Chow down and drink with our buddy at Serena, which was always our place. Let's get this crap out of our inventory that we don't want, though. So, we picked up... Like, I feel like if we win them with her in our party later, we get points of affection, but not now. Which means that I don't know if we can give her Bunshan, the Java Sparrow, Jumbo Chestnut, Jumbo Bunshan, Woo Mama, Baby, Igon Gon, and have it mean anything. But uh, maybe we can. Who knows? Is it worth even fast traveling, or do we just run to Serena? That's fast travel. It's slightly faster to fast travel. I mean, if, if it doesn't too make too much of a difference unless you run into combat, in which case it's probably worth it to um, fast travel so you don't have combat. The load times aren't too bad. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. We weren't making it here that fast, <laughs> so that was... Well, I mean, if I turn around and run the wrong way, maybe I can make it a mess. I suppose we can check in with you while we're here. Fourteen. We're really close to being able to, to get unstoppable, but that's not my actual goal. It's Beads of Fortune, so. I'd have to do some pretty good... Actually, Majima-san is the likely source of enough CP to put us over the top. Because there's more Majima points we're missing than anything else. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we got the we got a main story. I can't be dealing with you. All right, guys. This should be intense, actually. I'm looking forward to this. Well, I run the place. 
And I don't want to miss that. Well, I mean, in fairness, it's her joint. She doesn't want us murdering each other here. Because that might be trouble. Hey, he came alone. What up? Oh, you didn't. You know, I guess you greeted me kind of by acknowledging my name. You used to drink them little fruity drinks, right? Very busy not being in prison for your crime. Mm. It was an accident. I was strangling her. And... I was strangling her and she resisted in a way that unexpectedly broke her throat. Well, I guess her throat got cut, so that seems like not an accident. I thought the other guy might react in a way that would be more beneficial. But I guess he was surprised. Well, that might get some respect out of his crew. If they thought he was a puss. Although the guy and his crew that was being mean to him before isn't here to see this. Damn right you will. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's fate that I ruined her life, too. Sunflower seems like a pretty fucked up place if it's turning out people like you guys. Obviously not to make a good life for her daughter. The ring that I went through so much trouble for in Act 1? Well, whose fault is that? That's right, I'm willing to let Japan tear itself apart so Haruka can have this pendant. Because you're an idiot. No, I hate you for making me look like a puss in every way. Sure did. Well, not personally. I had someone else do it. I guess he did. You, stop murdering everyone. You, stop punching him for murdering everyone. Oh, Shinji, he's got the power to keep people alive. He's a Sith Lord. Yeah, he's, he's growing moss. I've got plenty of walkie-talkies, by the way. Okay. 
She's gonna be my tool. No, we didn't work together in the old days. I covered your sorry ass. Well, I'm, saying, I'm not saying that in character's curious, but... You're no brother to me, mister. Because he was always an asshole. <laughs> I mean, even in their early scenes together, he was clearly bitter. Like, yeah, we, I mean, I... I there's, no, there's never been a point where Nishi, whatever his name is, has been not kind of a jerk. I was kind of hoping he would come good. He might still come good, but he's, but he's kind of a douche. <laughs> By the way, I love the blonde highlights. Lovely. Let's take this outside, guys. I don't want to wreck the bar. Reina, are you going to help me on this fight? I might need some help here. Alright, I'm really not that... I got all this ointment on my fingers. I'm hoping I can actually do a fight fairly well. Not... not setting up an excuse, although the plot fights have been pretty rough recently, because everybody's a freaking weapon master. Okay, that was a good... Oh, I'm wrecking the bar, though. I feel bad. It was not needed at all, but it was fun. Sorry, lady. Okay, right, that's fairly easy as long as I was willing to wreck the bar, which I guess I should have tried to avoid. We've got enough money. We can re repair or we can replace furniture, though. Infinite army of dudes outside. Luckily, we don't have Haruka with us here, because that would have been rough. Yeah, this is, I think, a, this is going to be a sequence where we get to be pretty fucking badass if it really does turn into another fight with these guys and Date doesn't run them all over the car and rescue us. He's in Nishi. Oh. Uh, I'm having a hard time not taking it a little personally, actually. Dropkick. That's Hulk Hogan. Double axe handle, something like that. Toji Shindo is, in fact, like 800 guys. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Alright, that's... No garbage that I can pick up, I guess. Really hoping for a chance to carve him up while I had some heat, but no. And I keep getting stabbed every time I'm down. I can't hit the damn... Button enough times to escape. Fuck. Okay, glad I got good armor. Alright, I need to get rid of these other assholes. Yeah, I'm having a hard time uh, focusing on him. Or getting getting him taken out with these other guys in the way, but... Probably not evading enough either. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I'm gonna need a little uh, pick me up here. Got a sorter I could be using, but uh. Main thing I need right now is some more health. I guess Rush might be the style they want me using against him. Super can! Ah, damn it. I had heat built up and I, I got a little too aggressive. Really hoping I could get this done with just one healing item, but uh, I guess you do what you gotta do. Sword might be the answer. Yep. Oh, well, that's a lot of uh, experience I got for that one. I guess that's a fairly big plot battle. I just wiped out Nishikama, Robber Barbara's entire gang. Not the mean lieutenant. I, I'm wondering if Nishikawayama, I'm not, I know I'm not getting his name right, killed that guy in off-screen action. The guy like sat on his head and was like, you know, snicker snagging him and shit. <laughs> Telling him, hey, I know how to earn to stay out of my way and then like humiliating him. I feel like that guy might have been eliminated off-screen except you end up having to fight every named character in these games, so. I sure hope Kiryu's okay. <laughs> you have to send a million dudes to murder him. Oh, there he is. I speak of the devil. The big boss man, you don't know you serve it hard. Well, if you ever don't enjoy it. Their relationship seems to have improved, oddly. They seem to understand each other a little better. He's still not that respectful, but... Doctor? Yeah, it's probably the guy who was extorting me for my sister's operation. Doctor? Doctor? The Glengarry leads! I guess, yeah, I'm thinking this is the guy who extorted him for money for his sister's operation. He basically stole it back. He seemed like a bit of a jerk. Well, what's he gonna go do about it now? What does it matter? Unless he thinks his sister, like... Is his sister okay? We never really find out about that. I mean, I imagine we will, but... I'm very confused now. So he's gonna go track down this doctor that they st stored the 30 million from. And now we're gonna find out he's not gonna save his sister after all or something? Because that operation should have happened like 10 years ago, right? No, okay, that guy disappeared and... Is he still supposed to be taking care of his sister and now he just ran off because his money got stole? They stole all your rum. They're looking for treasure. They're pirates, folks. You're dead. Sorry, yeah. Sifu and Ollie. Oh, 
Okay, so he at least got some information. No, everything's normal. It's, doctors do this all the time. I guess this guy was taking care of his sister, and now... Oh. I don't get it. You had to pay that guy, and now your guy's got the money back because he's this gambling scumbag. You go to, I mean, the, the operation didn't happen? I thought this was 10 years ago. I got, I'm confused about the timeline. I, I guess his sister's going to die now that they chased that doctor out of town. But I thought the whole point was that he had to steal this money and betray everyone to pay for his sister's surgery 10 years ago. So I have gotten very turned around. Anyone can clear this up for me in the comments, please do so, because I've obviously lost the thread here a little bit. Unless the idea is this doctor is continuing to take care of her. Cost might show up soon. I should put as much as for myself in this place as possible. Better keep a low profile as I walk around town. Well, yeah, we did just kill a lot of people, didn't we? It's a shame that we can't just go back in there and hang out, though. Katsuki san, you san really kicks some ass. Stardust, you say. I wonder what it being forced to close. I heard there's an incident. At Stardust. Don't know what that. I don't know what kind, but I always thought that club was something special. That's a shame. Please, my comments probably stay away from Serena right now. What about Stardusto? I guess we can enter Stardusto even though it's closed. It's never closed to us. That doesn't necessarily mean there's anything happening here. Is Kazuki-san going to be okay? Is hey, something wrong? Oh, hi, Kiryu-san. Looks like Kazuki-san's got a problem. Mm. Does he? It sounds pretty serious, but there's nothing I can do. Honestly, I'm worried. I'd just get in the way if I tried. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know it's rude of me to ask after you've done so much for our club, including bringing all sorts of criminals here who destroyed the place, but do you think you could help us out again? Well, Kazuki's always been there for me, so... Sure, I'll go talk to him and see what's up. <laughs> really, thank you very much. Oh, I might have just jumped ahead in the story a bit. Like, I think I was supposed to get guided here. Oh, I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I... Oh, I didn't know you were here. Sorry, I didn't intend to you sooner, Kiryu-san. Chiji forgot how I talk, but I probably should be a feat. No worries. Is something the better? Hi. Yes, it's the business issue, but we've been really losing customers lately. Hey, business. We're trying to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. Riri? Everyone's always saying that Stardust is the most popular host club in Kobarucho. I do that, but uh, something fishy's going on. Fishy? You mean like koi tattoo on the back fishy? Yeah, but I was really good customer at the club. Outside the club, and one of the regulars passed me by. So I asked her why she hasn't come in recently. And she said I found a much better place to meet men, better than any host club. We got a real competitor. Okay, well, I mean, I, I guess that the Omi Alliance is going to set up a really good host club. Just to punish you guys. There's not that much we can do about it. A better place to meet people. Oh, it's a sub-story. Okay. Yes, Kamarucho's younger nightlife crowd has been spreading rumors about some kind of reoccurring party. Mm. It's affecting the entire host club industry here in town, not just us. So I'm trying to be proactive about it. Mm. But since we based our feces... I mean, faces. <laughs> our feces, JG? Since we based our faces on the club signage, we can't even go there to check it out on Scott and I. I wonder if we just have to give up. I'm not really doing my Bob Kate Goldthwait very well today. <laughs> Looks like they're facing a serious problem. This is a serious, serious host club quest. We will help, of course. They are the hostos with the most o when it comes to uh, obligation for Kiryu. <laughs> I see. Well, the public doesn't know my face, mostly. Pardon? I could go check out the party. What? No, no, this is entirely our problem. It would be unthinkable to put this burden on your shoulders, too. Don't sweat it. You've always done right by me. Now it's to my turn to lend a hand. Well, I mean, they have become true allies. Like, it's 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 actually rather sweet how Kiryu has ingratiated himself into this host o club. But initially, it was because some Yakuza were shaking them down, and Kiryu came in here to meet someone. Not necessarily related to the club. Rival Yakuza came in to shake them down, and uh, Kiryu, like, kicked their asses. So... I feel like everything's even, but maybe I'm confused. Mm. If that's your stance, then we're happy for all the help you can get. Thank you, Kiryu-san. <laughs> this is going to be awesome! With Kiryu-san in the case, our problems are practically solved already. So what do I need to do? 
The girls here might know something about what's going on. Could you talk to them, then infiltrate the party? If you can tell us what's going on in there, we'd appreciate it. Uh. Good. Thank you. If you find anything, please let us know. So is this like an ongoing party, like from the... I don't know if it was Life, the Universe, and Everything, or Restaurant at the End of the Galaxy. Universe, rather. It wasn't Hitchhiker's Guide. It was one of those two. Might have been so long and thanks for all the fish. Don't think it was mostly harmless. But there was a party where, like, the people attending the party were, like, 100th generation descendants of the people who started the party. It was this, like, infinite ongoing party. <laughs> I should ask the client to help you rumors. Well, we could do that, or I could get back to the main story. I could spend some of these points that we got. We can quick knock out anything that's only cost 50 and just have that done without having to think about it because I got enough points. I could come back later and say I should have saved for the 85 point skills, but uh, as I, I mean, I have been I have been kind of encouraged based on some reading to believe that maxing out these things is not going to be a problem unless you make a point of avoiding fighting Majima. <laughs> Because you're going to get experience from all these fights. Charge up an enemy guarding with his weapon to knock the weapon away. No effect on weapon master. So the problem is, these, yeah, the problem is we have a lot of stuff that will help against generics using weapons, but not bosses using weapons. And I did, in fact, burn right through those points faster than I expected to. We still have one 50-point skill left here. Oh, we got a bunch of shit left in heat mode. Heat mode's kind of been the most neglected. So I've got almost all the techniques that we're going to get other than dragon style, even though I don't use them very effectively. And uh, just raw stats, everything that's remaining is 85 points. So our next logical thing to do with whatever points we get is is get our heat mode uh, more powerful. And then like, at that point, we just start getting health, health. Like, I guess we'll get techniques, but eventually it's just health, 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 attack. Well, that seems like a fairly logical place to call it a video. Um... So, when we come back next time, I guess I instinctively came to the Hosto Club because of the chit-chat outside, but uh, I guess we can kind of continue to investigate this storyline. And uh, when we come back next time, maybe we'll just uh, segue right into this side quest. On the Mysterious JG, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.